Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create some hunch connections and we'll create a connection between the two rafters and another one between this column and this rafter. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to the connection settings under the still there you click there the connection settings and make sure that you load the connection that you want to use there okay you can as well load all the connections by clicking there then add from there then click on okay so all those connections are loaded then to create a connection between the two rafters simply select that rafter hold control select that one then go to still there and click on connection. What you are seeing here is just a generic connection. So what you need to do, make sure that you go to the properties, click there and find the connection that you want to use. Or you can simply search from there. For example, I want a hunch. So Apex hunch comes there, then click on it. Then make sure that you switch to fine level of detail. See that you cannot see the connection, but once you switch to fine level of detail, you'll be able to see the connection like that. Right now at this point you see that I have the connection all you need to do is now get the properties or the parameters for the, the way you've designed your connection and change this one to suit the design okay so you need to do that by going to the settings okay I'll just select on the connection there then click on edit type okay once you do that okay make sure that you duplicate so that you don't disturb the the default settings just click on duplicate there the name you can rename as well and click on ok then go to modify parameters and click on edit from here you can see the preview of the connection as you keep on changing all the properties or parameters here you are able to see what is happening here and what is changing okay so under the general we have the end plate this is the thickness I can change the thickness if I want once you change there, you click in a different box, you see that it updates. Okay, I'll maintain the end plate to angles. I'll maintain like that. End plate length type, projection. I'll maintain projection. You can as well use any of these settings here. Okay, even for this one, I'll maintain projection. All right. Then what you just need to do, just look at the numbers here. It's going to match with what you have here if you don't know what you're supposed to change. I'll go to haunch one. Okay, I'll maintain this side because I want the haunch to be at the bottom. Okay, if I change to other side, you see that to, to, to go up like that. And that's not what I want to see. So I'll maintain this side as you can see from here. Then I'll pick profile. Then the, the width or the length, I'll, I'll change it to 500. These are millimeters. Click there. You see that it updates. Then for the depth or the height, let me take it to 170. Click in a different box, you see it updating like that. For the chamfers, I'll just maintain the defaults. You can go ahead and change if you want. And then uh, for the for, for the haunches that you are seeing, these are the profiles uh, as mentioned here. I picked profile. If you want to change, for example, here it's saying same section as rafter, meaning that this profile is, the, is of the same type as the as the rafter there if you want to change it you can deactivate it there and pick you know the 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 section from here as you can see go down and you this is the library where you can pick any kind of section that you want but for me i'll just maintain i want to have the the profile to be the same type as the rafter then go to haunch 2 i'm just maintaining the same properties like haunch 1 so that is okay for me Go to the bolts for the bolts. Start with the bolt type there. Okay, this is where you pick the bolt type. I'm going to pick this one X or X. Then from here, the bolt diameter. I can click there on top and pick 16. The bolt grade. I'm just going to pick 8.8. .8. Then I'll just maintain these other properties. Horizontal distance. I'll just maintain 60. So I'm happy with the bolts. Then the bolt group from here. If I just zoom in here. I have this group and that group, meaning that the first two are in one group and the second two are in a different group. So I can start adjusting these ones. For example, 
I can increase this this one to 120 you see that it moves down increase it further to maybe 130 okay just like that then I still need to push it down okay another option is to increase this one so that it pushes the other group down let me type 60 and you see that it moves down if I'm happy with what I have there I can leave it okay you can see that I have the first group and the second group right there you can go ahead and adjust it the way you want, want it to be so I can go to the stiffeners okay I have two stiffeners if you want if you don't want to have full, full stiffeners you can still change if you just want maybe a quarter you see that it adjusts but for me I just want full stiffeners so I'll just maintain it the way it is okay I can go to the welds I'll just maintain you know the fillet welds six millimeters then I, if I want to be all round I can click there and you see that all the welds are there this is where the welds are placed as you can see from the preview there okay so if this is how I want my connection to be you can see you can see that my connection is done it's just a matter of just clicking on ok right wait for it then click on ok right there you see that it's going to adjust there okay as you can see at least the space if you want to adjust it further you can go ahead and do that okay so we are done with the apex let's go to this other one okay just select the column there hold control the rafter there go to steel then connection you have the generic connection go to the properties there and i'll search for hunch once again but this time i want the knee of frame bolted with hunch select on it okay you see that you have that hunch with those default you know uh, parameters as you can see it's not looking right and of course you have to change the properties according to the design of this connection okay one feature that you can use you can even isolate this one by just clicking on that section box you see that it's isolated then i can select on on the connection then click on edit type there okay wait for it to load then make sure that you duplicate give it a, a unique name then click on ok modify parameters you click on edit there okay then as you can see that is my connection then i can start by general going to hunch rafter again i'll maintain this side profile then this is the length maybe i can change it to a meter okay then the depth if i want maybe to 260 okay as you can see 270 click in a different box you see that it adjusts okay then additional plates as you can see from here if you need those plates you can go ahead if i just check this one you see that i have that plate but i don't need such plates for me so i would deactivate it then go to additional rafter as you can see from here if you need that additional rafter let me just orbit so that i see what is happening here okay like that so if you need that additional rafter you can activate it as you can see it appears there you can pick the section for the rafter from here as you can see from here we have you know the databases the libraries you know from different codes across the world so you can pick the one that you want to use okay I'll just click outside and maintain the same one which is there as you can see uh, let me just select there i see that i can keep on changing from here if i want i'll just pick that one as you can see it's right there okay so if you want to make it horizontal from here you can just click there and you see that it's horizontal okay but i'll just maintain okay i'll make it horizontal again if you want to this is the length of the rafter and the distance from top if you want to drop it for example 500 click somewhere else you see that you can drop but i'll just uh, maybe leave it there i want it to extend like that and then i want it to be sloped okay all right now the next one end plate uh, as you can see that is the thickness okay if you want to change it you can even see from the you know the pre the picture there to show you what we are what we are trying to do as you can see from here Okay, that is the plate so maybe the thickness let me have 12 okay 
or maybe 15 and plate i'll just maintain projection you can pick these other options as well then the pro the the projection top you can see that there's a negative five i just if i just wanted to flash there i can even put a zero there so you can use these parameters to adjust the connection according to your design then the end plate with this type i can still use projection or the other one then from here left and right maybe if i want to have let me try 50 there and this side 50 also you see you can start you know adjusting you know the plate just using that option there okay let me just put the the center there so that i'm able to orbit like that okay so you can adjust the connection you know according to to the design of your connection then go to couplet okay if i want to have that plate as horizontal i can you know do that and you see that it's horizontal okay but i'll just uh, deactivate it i want it to flash like that okay that's i want it, that's how i want it to be you can change the thickness you can change the width you know plate gap you can change if you want if you want this to be continuous okay you see if i just activate there maybe it will disappear you don't want that plate you can do that you want a continuous column like that but i want my plate to be on top so i'll leave it there you can go to the boards then once you click on boards you can go to the actual boards there the board type there you can select there you know pick the the type that you want to use the standard i'll pick that one then from here i can pick the bot diameter and the bot grade right there okay let me just orbit there and see what i have i think i'm happy with what i have okay you can go to the bot groups i will not change anything here if you want you can start you know moving the end distance the intermediate distance so that but from the look of things i'm happy with what i have here i'll maintain it go to the welds i'll maintain the six millimeters if you need some additional welds as you can see from there on those locations you can specify the actual welds there okay i don't need those reinforcing the bolt holes i'll leave it the way it is the defaults i can go to the stiffeners go to stiffener one again you can start stiffening your connection if something that you know that is on your design okay so for me i don't need any stiffening so i'll just leave the connection the way it is okay i'm happy with what i have as you can see from here okay so what you need to do once you are done you can pick the stiffeners from here if you want okay you can check you see that you have different options for stiffeners so if you are happy with what you have the connection as you can see just click on okay there right so that these options these settings can be loaded there then click on ok once again click outside you see that i have my connection right there okay so if i want to bring back now the whole model you can simply go there and deselect the section box and you see that you have the two connections there now to copy the connections on similar locations you just select on that connection right click then propagate connection and you see that it's loading the connections as they are there okay as you can see from there i can do the same on this connection select on it right click and propagate connection and you see that it will place the connections on the similar locations okay and as you can see it's done with that you know rafter there the additional rafter is already there so this is how you create your connection and it's very very fast in revit